My children, our children, were 14 and 12. And our 14-year-old got up to give the eulogy. Seventeen years of marriage, three PCSs, two kids, two boys, a deployment for four and a half months, and I couldn't save my husband from committing suicide. It's been 12 years and I haven't seen our oldest son who would be 26 in over four years. My family's been decimated. I feel like I failed as a spouse and as a mother. and I will live with that for the rest of my life. But it's my choice how I live the rest of my life. Am I gonna live the rest of my life having regrets and wallowing in what could have been Or do I take those lessons that I've learned to help other people, to help my younger son heal? Because he's still struggling 12 years later. It's not about me, but I heal every time I tell our story. And I pray each and every time that it resonates with one person. Just one person is what I want it to resonate with. I wish I could say uh, no other family will go what we went through. And I am going to do everything in my power to make sure that whoever I come across in life knows that they are not alone, they are not a burden, to give people pause, that there are after effects and destruction left behind after some of the choices we make. That's my passion. That's my purpose. I want to make a difference in someone's life. That it takes community. We are not alone. We are not a burden. And that you matter. You may not know it. But you matter, and I'm telling you right now that you matter. I've heard the story before. When you look at a tombstone and you see the birth date and the death date, and you see the dashed line in between, that dashed line means so much more than the birth date and the death date. When I die, I want my birth date, my death date, and an exclamation point in between. I want people to remember how I lived my life. I lived it with gusto. I lived it with, with zest, with pizzazz, with an exclamation point.